It's Friday! Haven't made a Friday video for a while, been busy. Um, but I'm gonna make a Friday video today just because I feel like it. And this is what I'm gonna do for Friday video. Heat shrinking. I've seen all kinds of ways. No, I'm not seeing all kinds of ways. I've seen a couple different ways. And I just wanna know which way is the best. And that's what I'm gonna to try to prove to myself today. As you look at this piece of metal, we have done nothing to it. We just sat down, we took a break for a second. And we're gonna check it out. I wanna see which works best. We went to town, we bought one of them little tiny heat things. Tells you what the heat is. What the, this is what I plan to do. I'm gonna, I'll, actually, I'm gonna show you something. I'll show you how I do it. And then we will test both. Piece of metal like this. All flat like this. When I weld this, when I, I'm gonna take the welder and I'm gonna weld that and put a big old knot on it. I'm gonna warp it up so it's warped up, so it's stretched. What, what I would do, this is how I do it, I have the air hose with me. Once I heat that all up and I put, put, a, put a puddle there, I come back with the hose, not before, I don't want to blow it while it's molting, I want to blow it while it's hot, you know what I mean, it's hot. So I put the air directly on it and I blow on it. So that's an air hose, that's how I do it, with an air hose. I've got this all this rag all drenched down, I've got it all drenched down, all wet, I even got some more water to dump onto it. So what I want to find out is, does the water cool the metal off faster than the rag, or does the air cool it off faster than the rag? If the air cools it off faster than the rag, why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep using the rag, you know? Start using the air hose. The air hose might be the answer. Now that's the way I do it. And I have to, we have to do a test to find out whether it pulls it off fast. That's why we got heat everything. But anyways, as I would do it, I would throw this on here. I would put a knot on here. You'll watch that metal fall. If Jolene can catch it on film, I hope she can. You'll watch that metal fall. That means all the molecules are running away. They're running away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the air hose and go back on top of it and go on top of it. You'll watch that metal come back up again because I'm cooling that metal off. I can almost bet you it does not do that with a cold rag. I can almost bet you that messy wet rag and cold and cold air. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this helmet on. I'm going to put a knot on this metal so it sinks. Hopefully, Joanne can watch it really close to the camera after when it sinks. If you can see it sinking, then I'm going to put the air on. Then we'll watch it come back up. I hope you don't get your eyes. I'm going to start welding right now. Temperature Colton, see it down there? Watch the air bring it back. See that bring that back up? That bring that back, bring that back in place. Now Colton, see it in a minute, see it in a minute. Take a temperature read, take a temperature read. I'm gonna let it start to turn off, that was the first time. Yeah, it's been around the four, four points off of what it was before it started. I cool it down that quick. Pull it down that quick. It was 383, it was down, cool down that quick. Now, did you get to see that on your nose? I'm not sure if you've seen that come back up or not, but it come back up. I seen it. Did you see it? Yeah, And Colton's got crooked eyes. Why don't you do it one more time? Do it again. Can I get the temperature of it? Do the temperature of the, the metal. Got it? Now try it. <laughs> Huge difference. What's the difference? Like 20 that, degrees, I think. Yeah. So what's what's cooler? The air. Oh, air by fine. When you shrink metal. Throw that in the garbage. Who's that? Whenever you're welding or doing something like that, use the air hose. The air hose cools it off twice as fast. And that's why we have, when we weld our cars up, I don't want anything warped. I'm always telling Colton, put the air hose on, put the air hose on. And that just proves it right there. Now I still got a wet mess all around that. Well, I don't want no wet mess when I'm doing that stuff. That's not the way to shrink metal. Shrink it with the air hose. 
When, when, when it comes time that the air, when it's oil can, this metal is not oil can. When it was oil can, what I would do is I would take the air hose, everybody takes a torch and has two people hand them, one holds a torch, one holds a dolly, and one hammers, and one's got the wet rag, and two people, no, take the, take the MIG welder, while the knot on the back of your car, your whatever your oil can, take the air hose and spray it, it'll come right back out where it's supposed to be, and then you take your hammer and your dolly, it's strong enough, sit on that knot, and you fold the excess metal around that knot. That's where the excess metal goes. You are not shrinking something by pounding it with a hammer and dolly. You are not shrinking it. When you take that little knot there and you pound the metal, if I have a little knot here and I hammer and dolly that, I'm pounding that metal around that knot. So that excess metal has made that tight again. That's how you stop oil can. Well, the knot in it. I know you're laughing at me, baby. That's the way to do it, though. Put your hammer and dolly on it and beat that knot, beat that metal over top of that knot. And that's where your metal goes. Heat shrinking. Bad chat. Have a good Friday! I love it. It worked. It made me happy. Can you tell? Air. Air, people. All these years, people saying water. No. Air. Yeah, water's to yeah, drink. Yeah, I love it. What a big difference, isn't there? Yeah. Water's to drink. Turn that damn thing off. Then we get to glue.